One is curious, you know, at your level, how do you invest in your own learning? Mm -hmm. Because learning never stops. Yeah. How, what are you, what are some of the things that you are doing uh, by design to sort of keep that going? Yeah, so you know, what you said is absolutely critical. Uh, and um, it is so easy to get sucked into the day-to-day -day of what you're doing, right? And manage your business month on month or even year on year. And that's not where the action actually is, okay? That's not where true value creation comes from. True value creation comes from thinking about the long term and uh, obviously making sure you don't fall in the short term but it, it you know decisions that you uh, that uh, that you take um, uh, sometimes uh, it takes time for things to pan out right um, and and if you want to influence your your company's trajectory three four five years out you need to start working on it now so if you don't have that long-term perspective then you're probably setting your business up for failure a few years down the road okay and so therefore thinking about the future is an absolutely incredibly integral part of I would say any CEO's role and I think most people do not give it adequate attention and part of the reason is because if you're a person working in a corporate okay uh, and this is the difference I sensed in myself in my own experience um, working for somebody versus having your own business with some equity in it okay if you have the latter you tend to have a longer term focus if you're the former, which is like you're working for somebody, you're really just thinking about your job and your own career. In thinking less about the long-term future of the, of the business. And that's why I think a lot of the, lot of businesses tend to fall short. So anyway, coming back to your question, how do I think about the future? Or how do I uh, make sure that I learn? So first of all, you know, I've hired, uh, not a hired is the wrong word, but I've got somebody who is a thinker, okay, whose job is to give advice on trends, developments, the future, etc. And uh, this is a person that I spend time with and uh, try to get his insights as to what are the things that I could be focusing on and just to good to get that outside in perspective. The second thing is, particularly more recently, I've started reading a lot and uh, it's very important to read about uh, the kinds of technology trends that are evolving because there's so much change happening in the world right now, right? So you need to do that. Uh, you need to read about uh, uh, the likely evolution of businesses into the future, how they might be impacted by technology changes, how they might be impacted by uh, you know, uh, big trends like robotics, automation, digitalization and so on, and how that might impact us for example. So it's important to read about these things. And the third thing that I do is I try to meet a lot of people and I really like to talk to them and ask them questions. And it's important to meet people from wide and different fields academicians, policy makers, thinkers, for example, uh, authors, uh, people from your own sector. So it's very important to do all of that. It's, it's very important to get external inputs which you can then reflect on in your quieter moments because that's how the future begins to get it come into some degree of clarity. And if the future begins to come into some degree of clarity, you can start formulating your own responses to those as much ahead of time as possible. And the earlier that you do it, the more you have the ability of A, out-competing and be able to address the future.